Hey, I'm Blush, and today on Glam Chat, we'll be talking some celebrity updates, as well as some news, and then we'll be going into some fashion for it. One of our favorite reality divas has recently come out and exposed that she is expecting. Yes, Tamar Braxton and her husband are expecting. Now, this is her first child, so she really didn't want to come out and let everybody know so soon. But she did recently come out last month and advise everybody that she is expecting. Um, she hasn't revealed the sex of the child at her preference, but a little birdie, which is her best friend, Tamika Tiny Harris, actually slipped up and gave us a hint that it may be a boy. So we will be looking forward to seeing what this uh, baby will be, but for the most part, it's gonna be a boy. While we're on the subject of celebrity divas and pregnancy, I don't know if you guys have seen Amber Rose lately, but she is looking great post-pregnancy. Now, I wish I could say the same for who I like to call Big Kim. Kim Kardashian has put so much weight and she is not even close to dropping her baby as of yet. I'm not hating, but I'm just dying to see what Kim will look like on, during her last trimester. Next, Drake. He's back with another emotional rap song. He titles this one, All Girls Like Beyonce. Not sure what the title has to do with the song, but in this song, uh, another emotional rap song, basically he's talking about a girl that he would like to settle with and you know, all the things he would like to do with this girl once he settles. So he sampled the chorus from the Destiny Child 1999 song, Say My Name, and incorporated it into this new song. I thought, you know, he did a pretty good job on it. Tell me what you think. Check it out. So if you recall last episode, we talked about Rihanna's tour, the Diamond Tour. Well, apparently, um, she has called off a couple of shows. The most recent show was the Houston, Texas show. Apparently, she has been diagnosed with a case of laryngitis. Now, with recent news, and I know that every time I seem to talk about most recent news, it always seems to be something sad or tragic, but that just seems to be what is being talked about at the time. And for now, um, I wanted to talk about what happened in Boston on April 15th, 2013. Apparently, during the Boston Marathon, there were two bombs explosions that occurred at the marathon, which took the lives of three individuals and um, almost 200 people were injured um, during this explosion. Again, the motives behind why um, this was done during this, um, this event is still unknown. They're still investigating, trying to get more information, but definitely take the time out um, of your day and just you know, have a moment of silence and think about these people that lost their lives, especially, um, I believe there was a young kid out of the, the three that lost their lives while his mother was crossing the finish line. So again, just you know, send your condolences to those families. For the first part of our fashion segment, I wanted to actually mix a little bit of celebrity update and fashion. Um, Beyonce is now working on her new H&M summer collection campaign, and she is actually looking great post um, Blue Ivy, which is her daughter. Um, curvaceous as usual, but she has definitely toned back into the you know, Beyonce that we know her, to, we know for her to be that entertainer. If not. I think she actually looks better now. Once you um, log into HM, um, I believe she's one of the first things that comes up. I'm sure if you Google it, you'll be able to see. And the, you know, she's looking very hot in those faces. Low ponytails. You've seen them all over red carpet, and they are gorgeous. They are worn sleek, neat, and tightly to the bottom. 
They're great for semi-formal events. And the good thing about it is it requires little to no makeup because it's such a classic look. It, it just brings out the umph by itself. Hollywood is definitely pushing colored wing eyed looks. Um, they're similar to your cat eyeliner looks, which you might see on um, most like 1950s looks. It, the Cleopatra look, basically it's just, you know, a liner above the, um, above your lash line that extends to the corners and it basically has a wing to it. Well, with the wing eye, the colored wing eyed look, it's the same thing, only difference is instead of using black, you're using colors. For me, my favorites are your metallic, your metallic blue, greens, and purple. Um, you can definitely find those colors at your local um, drug stores, pharmacies, or even probably your local beauty supply store. Another trendy idea to add to your makeup routine is neon lipsticks, hot pink. Um, there's some purples, there's some, well not so much for green, there's also some yellows, and they're of course great for this time of year, this season, spring, you always want to be bringing out colors, so neon lipsticks are definitely a go. One of my favorite fragrances for this season is Guilty by Gucci. This fragrance has a sweet but flirty aroma and again I think it's great for the spring um, so check it out you can find it at your local department stores Macy's um, Bloomingdale's I'm sure even Ulta um, would have it there so definitely check it out I'm sure you will fall in love with it like I have all right well that is it for glam chat thanks so much for watching and if you would like to get some more celebrity updates don't forget to subscribe bye Say my name, if no one is around you Yeah, uh Say my name, say my name Cause those other men are practice And this ain't